Welcome back everybody. This is the Simply Blockchain channel. Today I'm going to be running through with you how to add a custom RPC to the, your MetaMask wallet. It's quite a simple process. Hang on to the end to make sure you don't miss out on any information I give to you because some bits are crucial. Let's get into it. So I'm assuming you've bought some Avalanche or Matic and you want to put it on your MetaMask wallet, but you're not entirely sure how to do that because perhaps when you've opened your MetaMask wallet, it only shows the Ethereum network. You need to add new networks to your MetaMask wallet to make sure that the cryptos that you have are compatible with that wallet. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. It's really simple. I'm going to run through it with you now from your browser. Now, this works on mobile and on desktop exactly the same way. So I'm just going to show you here. So I'm going to bring up my MetaMask wallet. If I just minimize this, so this is my MetaMask wallet. Now you can just open up if you click on the MetaMask uh, drop down from here. You can do it from in here. So if you go in here, just press on the little three dots in the corner. And then if you go expanded view, this then brings up this window and it's a blown up window of your little wallet. So what we're going to do, we're going to click over here. So see where it says Ethereum mainnet. So that is the network that we are currently linked to. So you're going to press the little drop down and it's going to bring up a bunch of different networks. So as you can see, I've already got the Polygon network, Avalanche network, Phantom network, Songbird network, and then the Ethereum network. So what you're going to do from here is you're going to click add network. It's going to bring up this window. So you can either search this, which makes it super, super easy. In today's example, I'm going to do a couple. So I'm going to go BNB and I'm going to just add this the simple way. So we're just going to look through this, make sure it's OK, which it is, because it's coming straight from MetaMask. I'm then going to go and click approve. Once it's approved, the Binance chain it's updated, it's all there. Switch to Binance Chain. Done. Got it. Easy. Binance on. Now, there is another way of doing this. If your network doesn't show up on the drop down list, we're going to go back to the top corner. Little drop down, add network. We can search for it here. However, I am going to show you how to do it manually. Network name, net new RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and block explorer URL are all the types of information that MetaMask is going to need to add your custom RPC. Now, I've made it quite easy. I'm going to add a link to this in the description, but it comes straight from MetaMask support. So what we've got here, let me bring this window over to here. I'm going to add this into the description it does go through and show you how to do it all through the metamask website however i just thought i'd make a video on it make it nice and easy it just makes it easy for you to follow let's say that we want to add the harmony network we'll click on harmony now this is the network name token ticker symbol rpc this is the address chain id block explorer website perfect that's all the information that we need so what we'll do we'll minimize that Come down, get all the information. Now, we're just going to copy and paste this, basically. So that is all the information that MetaMask requires to add this RPC for the Harmony mainnet. Save. You have switched the Harmony mainnet. Things keep in mind. Got it. Done. Switch the Harmony mainnet. Easy. And that is about as easy as it gets, guys. So now, from here, you now have an AVAX wallet, Avalanche wallet, or... Uh, like we did earlier, a BNB wallet. Switch to the BNB chain. Now, all you need to do, if you are sending Binance coin, BNB, or any other token on the BNB network to this wallet, you just want to copy your address, which is just up here, put it into your exchange or your friend's wallet or where whoever is you sending you the crypto, and that is all you need. Just that, and it will come straight to this wallet. Please, guys, make sure if you are sending USDT Tether that you are sending it from the right chain. I have made the mistake before of not switching my wallet, sending USDT from my Ethereum uh, wallet to another wallet, uh, USDT from Ethereum to, example, Avalanche before. They both have USDT on them. 
However, because it's USDT on the Ethereum network, not the Avalanche network, it's got lost into the Ether. So just make sure you are on the correct network, sending the correct crypto to the right place. But that is about as simple as it gets, guys. So if you found any of this information useful, I will be linking this entire page and all the separate RPC links in the description of this video. So if there is one in particular that you need to add, all you need to do is click on that link and it will bring you straight to the MetaMask support website. And then you can add them all individually from there. But for now, guys, if you could show some love on the channel, I'd really appreciate it. A like or a comment on this video would really, really help. I'd appreciate all the support you guys are giving. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.